week five and I thought I'd do groupings of five. Sounds complicated, but we're gonna keep it super simple. So you've got right, left, right, left, left. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do that three times, so making up 15 beats. Playing them as 16th notes, you need 16 beats to make up a bar. So the last beat, we're just gonna add a right, which takes you nicely over to your left hand. You've got left, right, left, right, right. That three times in the last beat on your left hand. I want the first time, all your right hands accented, all your left hands nice and quiet. Second time, left hand accented, right hand nice and quiet. One, two, three, four, five. The hard thing about this one actually is just keeping it on repeat and going over and over, so moving from the left hand to the right. You want to make sure you put a metronome on so you know you're keeping it nice and tight. When you're doing something like odd groupings, that's, that's key. So if you've been watching any of the others, you'll realize that most of these are actually cool exercises, things to bring over to the kit, and just stuff to practice on the pad. But I always like to give it as a challenge, it's a bit more fun, and I normally put a challenge tempo, which is just sort of my limit, or where I can keep playing it clean and keep it going for, I like to say, about a minute. So I'm putting that at 150. Uh, I'm gonna play it at 100, and then 125, and then 150 at the end. really nice to put that on repeat and swap between hands on the pad but it's also a really good one to take over to the kit. You can leave your left hand doing ghost notes on the snare and move the right hand around from cymbals and toms. You can also take out that last beat on either the right or the left hand, that last sixteenth, and put a bass drum there either to finish it or just to keep it going. <laughs> 